Hi everyone, this is Pierre from P2 Design. I was thinking that I can't end this series without a bonus stage. Okay, that's cultural <laughs> with the theme. And I will just show you how to create um, those nice um, emissive parts and so that you can get to this uh, cool render that will give much more life uh, to the beads and the necklaces. Let's get started. In the previous video we reached uh, this kind of result. I've just changed the shader of the bust and the background and give it uh, some dark uh, shader with some glossiness. And on uh, the sphere here I've just uh, slightly lowered the value of um, those color of the wood make it uh, a little darker so now what we want is just add an emission shader uh, based on those uh, angry monkey faces the first thing I have done is to create another map here which the emi which is the emission factor so it's the same as this one but inverted and I have slightly shrinked uh, the, um, the white part so that the middle is really really white while the outer part is fading so that we will have nice creases in the in the coral like it's emissive from the very center of this. So this is our final output to get to this and we will just start here adding an emission shader we will set i will simplify this in so that i will have a better viewport feedback we will duplicate this our uv coordinates here shift the d and move it right there instead of the burning map we will use the emission map here and it's like this we will add first we will set to color to this mix rgb let's put this into the factor and see what we've got here reddish for the outer part and more like orangey for the center part let's put the value to the maximum as it is an emission okay and i want some variation here i don't want it to be from red to black uh, to to orange without any variation we will just add here a color ramp so that we will be able to modify it at will later on so it will allow me to shrink the area if I want or to make it wider even okay right to make the variation we will add um, a texture Voronoi texture I like this one okay and we will just um, multiply it to the color ramp um, so add a color mix RGB here and here we multiply can find it here it is to the maximum let's see what's happening I have those variation here we will increase the scale of the Voronoi texture let's try 15 so that we have more variation here and I'm happy with the result and this uh, factor we are outputting here will also help us to uh, mix those and we will use this one also so what we do now is add the shader mix shader put our wooden shader here our emissive here now it will look like something pretty weird oh sorry I haven't plugged this here <coughs> ok 
in that. Oh, that's interesting. Like fireballs. But this is not what we want. We want to... First we will plug this here to have some kind of a third, first result. And let's see if like this it will be better using also the Voronoi here. And yes, I think it's better because it makes the the glowing not appearing perfectly regular in, in this area. And now if you, you can shrink it by moving this so that you keep uh, this wooden area like it was uh, a little burned as we use it also in the color. And if I increase this value you can see it expanding on the spheres and we get an interesting result. So you can play with this or even with uh, the emission strength. In the higher you get, the stronger will be this lightning for sure. And it will turn to white if you get to something really super strong. Okay, not really white here, but you got the case. And if we switch it to zero, I think we have those burning area. And I want to check if, yeah, we have absolutely no difference. Uh, yes, the glossiness here seems to be a little affected. So in case you want to make some animation about this, you can uh, add uh, some information here, a driver here, set it to the necklace bone. And so that when your character is, is getting angry or something, uh, you can say, okay, I will bump the strength of it and see its power getting bigger and bigger. And that's it. That was not that complicated. Now we have our cool necklace here with this little magical effect. So I hope you've enjoyed this uh, tutorial series. That's the first one I have ever made on a single theme. And I hope you liked it. See you.